Even though most city facilities may be closed to the public, city staff are working around the clock to maintain essential city services and identify new ways to provide services that protect your health and the safety of public employees. Many city employees are out in the field. Police and fire are protecting public safety. Water is delivering drinking water and treating wastewater. Public Works is maintaining critical infrastructure like roads and parks. And staff are working from home and in the office to support these teams and many others. Over the last four months, FIRE has responded to 630 incidents where advanced life support was provided to patients with COVID and flu-like symptoms. Police has fielded over 1,000 public health violation calls and helped conduct health order education to local businesses. Water has continued to deliver more than 17 million gallons of high quality drinking water to city residents and recycle nearly 15 million gallons of wastewater at the Regional Wastewater Treatment Plant. City bus drivers have provided 220,000 free bus trips for residents' essential travel needs. Transportation and Public Works has completed nearly 3,000 tons of asphalt patching and used 19.2 tons of asphalt for pothole repairs and 2,048 gallons of crack seal to maintain city roadways. Recreation staff have distributed meal packs and called 1,000 seniors each month to provide companionship check-ins. And since we can't meet in person, the city has virtually hosted close to 750,000 hours of internal and public meetings with well over 13,500 participants. The city has also served 543 individuals experiencing homelessness at the city's Sam Jones Hall Shelter, the Safe Social Distancing Site, and through placements in hotel rooms. Provided modified summer camps for 570 children including youth from at-risk neighborhoods, and provided virtual tutoring for children in need. Launched a virtual permitting center that has issued over 1,200 permits to keep development moving. And all this work is being supported by IT, human resources, finance, and the communications teams. Throughout this public health emergency, your city has been here working for you, and we will continue to do so.